This video is brought to you by Autodoc. Autodoc is Europe's leading online retailer for car parts and operates in 26 different European countries. They currently have a huge range of car and automotive products from 870 manufacturers for 166 different car brands. From brakes to interiors, body panels to suspension, they have it all. They have an extremely easy to use app which is available on the App Store and Google Play. So go and download it now and make it your go-to for all of your car and automotive needs. I've also left a link in the description to their website. Thank you so much to Autodoc for sponsoring this episode. Let's get on with it. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. So let's start with the elephant in the room. Yep, shaved it all off. Couldn't take it any longer. I think we've only got two weeks until we've been our back in Barbers, but I woke up this morning, it was absolutely everywhere. Doing my head in, so we've just got the clippers out, shaved it off. It'll grow back, right? Just what I've always fancy doing, so yeah. That's the first one. Now, you can see by the thumbnail and title of this video, it's not about either of these that we've got on at the minute. So, let me just go around and explain why I've not touched the golf for so long and what's going on with the caddy. So the workshop is an absolute state at the minute, stuff everywhere, but the golf, which is sat back here at this end of the workshop, is currently sat on the trolley that I made to take it to the spray shop. It's on that because I obviously needed to move it out of the way to be able to get the caddy in and out of the spray tent um, to try and keep dust to a minimum in the spray tent. So that was pushed on that trolley, pushed back out of the way, and is currently being used to store parts of the caddy. So we're not really doing anything on that in a few weeks. Main reason being is because it's been moved out of the way. I've not got the space I don't really want to keep moving everything back and forth and taking it off the trolley and putting it on the jig and end up damaging something. I'm happy with it sat on the jig as it is, so it's staying where it is. On the trolley, sorry, where it is. So it's staying on there. I'm not touching that until this caddy is painted and the doors are back on it. So I've not got stuff laying everywhere and it's all out of the way and I can get it in one area and carry on with it. So that leads me on to the caddy. What is going on with the caddy? So I had to put a bit of guide coat back on here for the thumbnail for the last video. So yeah, I've got to paint and sand that again still. But shell is done. And what I have is done. So tailgate is done, fuel flaps behind it. We've got the driver's wing, sliding door, passenger door, and bonnet are all done. All of the emblems and bumpers and everything are on top of the golf and sat there ready to go. So they're done. And I'm now at a point on this where I can't do anything more until we get the door and wing situation sorted out. So we need a passenger side wing because the one that was on it was creased and damaged and dented and it just wasn't, it weren't usable at all. Um, and it had got obviously the hole in for the side repeater as well. So what I did with that was bought one online and it took around about two weeks to turn up. And there it is. So wings there and yeah, it's, I was sold it as a bang on A1 perfect condition. It's got a dent there, it's got a dent there, but it's a hell of a lot better condition than the one I had. So we're gonna have to just grin and bear it, sand that, get it all ready, get that prepped, get it primed. So it's all the same color as the rest of the van. Door is still a pain in the arse. So ordered one door, which turned up and turned out to be full, like the whole thing full of filler, which is why we didn't use that one. So then I bought another door, which I specifically asked if it had any filler in it, if it had any dents on it, and if it was a good clean door. And I was told, yeah, it's perfect. Don't worry, there's no dents, there's no filler or anything. Well, this is what was delivered. So for a start off, all right, not the end of the world, it's been off a breaker, but it's absolutely filthy. Then just here, there was a thin line that it was like a thin rusty line through the white paint. And I thought, hmm, something don't look right here. So I got to chisel that, started chiseling it away. Door's gone rusty and it's full of filler. Um, and then down here, we've got a crease and a damage to the bottom along here. There's a dent here and damage. There's a dent here and damage. There's a dent up here as well. It is not what I ordered. So yeah, complained and have now been led on for about two weeks. Two, two and a half weeks, nearly three weeks, with this being told, yeah, I'll get it sorted, I'll come down, I've got to come that way anyway, I'll change the door over. Still nothing's happened, try and contact him. Tell you, we'll talk to you tomorrow, we'll talk to you tomorrow, we'll talk to you tomorrow. There's always an excuse. But yeah, I'm hanging on to try and hope it gets sorted. So as soon as that door gets sorted, we'll be able to prime the door, prime the wing, everything will be at the same point, and then we'll be able to start on 
getting the caddy sorted. So I've been thinking of getting a daily for quite a while now and we've not really had a need, but then me and the wife got talking. We've been sharing the same car for quite a while um, and she just said, well, why don't we just, why don't we just, you get another, a daily so that we can have one car each again. So I was like, oh, okay. Might make for a bit of better content or a bit more content for the channel as well. So she says, what do you want? I was like, I don't know. So and then I got flicking through Auto Trader, which is, you know, it's a very, very dark hole. And I was sat up until the early hours for many days just looking through Auto Trader, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, all the auction sites. And we ended up with this 2009 Volkswagen Golf Sportline, apparently. I didn't know they did a Sportline. Um, two litre TDI Estate. I've already put a sticker on it because I can't help myself. But yeah. Nice colour, I'm not really sure, I can't remember what the colour's called now, but it's quite a nice colour, it's a metallic as well. So hopefully we can get that popping a bit better. But, as far as first things that are wrong with it, oh, you can see on this side, rear door's got a few dents in it, this door's got quite a lot of dents along there and down at the bottom. Front, few scratches, whatever, it's an old car, not a problem, it's got the nicer front bumper sort of GT-ish looking front end, which is nice. Wing, okay. Driver's door, okay, apart from we've got a bit of a, it folds in at the bottom here. And then this door has got a lot of creases in it. You can catch them on camera. And then coming onto this rear quarter, this has got a bit on as well. I'm hoping, I've got a dent man coming to have a look and I'm hoping we can get that rear quarter sorted out. Um, but I'm just, I've constantly looking on eBay See if we can get a new set of doors, hopefully in the right colour for this just to bolt on. Now the fronts are okay, the fronts you can reskin, it all just bolts on, but the back doors have got to be a complete door. So yeah, outside, got some, I think they're the GT wheels, um, and it's, it is what it is, it's just a golf estate. Coming on the inside, in here, yeah, nice enough. We've got auto headlights, multifunction steering wheel, Aircon with climate control, six speed manual, some pretty nice seats, electric windows, electric mirrors, heated mirrors, uh, very basic head unit, but it's a nice little little car inside, pretty clean. Back here, again, all nice and clean. That's me leaving rubbish in it. Coming around here then, round to the back. Got a nice big boot for hauling stuff. Boot cover is still in place, which is always a bonus. And it's also got the built-in dog guard as well, or whatever it is. It's built in, another feature, but yeah, quite nice round there. And then coming round here, just a nice clean interior. And oh, that leads me on to showing you this. So if you're following on Instagram, you'll have already seen these, but I've dropped a couple of new designs on the website. So the first one is front print. DAC IND, nice, clean, simple t-shirt. Step the game up now as well, and we've got all the internal labels. So yeah, that's that's one design. And then the other design that we've done pays homage to the Golf, I suppose, which is this black t-shirt, orange on the front, and then on the back, we've gone for a new design with a Golf in the middle. Yeah, explain it a little bit. So both of those are available on DACIND.com. I'll put a link in the description, go over, cop, Cut myself one, there's not that many in stock this first run. If they all sell out, I will be ordering some more and I've, as soon as I've sold these and made a bit more money on them, I've got some few more designs in the bank as well that will be being dropped. Next one probably is gonna be a hoodie. So yeah, head over to DACIND.com, grab yourself some merch. So the car, I'm not sure whether I paid over the odds for it or not, I don't really know. Basically the car was on Auto Trader. it was on there for a few days. It was in, I think, I think it was in Plymouth and obviously I'm in Leicester. Um, Rang the guy, said I was interested in it, said, what's the deal? He said, he took it in part X and it came as spares and repairs, sort of as a trade car sale. It's got MOT till May um, and I gave 2,100 delivered from Plymouth literally the next day. So I spoke to him at about three o'clock on the Tuesday, I think it was. Um, and he said he was coming up to Nottingham to pick another car up on Wednesday. If I paid for it that night, he'd deliver it the next day for, I think it was 100 quid he delivered it for. And I thought, do you know what? Saves me doing anything, saves me travelling about, let's go for it. So, 
Yeah, there were a few others that were out there that were a bit cheaper. But they're all boring colours. They were like silvers, and I like this colour. So yeah, <laughs> that doesn't warrant me paying over the odds for it, but it's quite a nice spec. I like it, I'm happy with what I bought. So yeah, hopefully I didn't pay over the odds for it, but yeah, we've got it now anyway. If it was a mistake, it's done, can't do it about it. So, just got back in here and it's all all right. And there seems to be, for some reason, a little package on the floor. So, me being me, I've now owned this car for around about 48 hours, I think. And within 24 hours of owning the car, I'd ordered coilovers. Hummed and armed with a few different things I want to go for. In the end, went for Stance Plus because I've heard quite a lot of good reviews and I could order them and get them next day. So, let's get those out, unbox them, see what they look like, and then we'll make a start chucking them on this car. Let's see if we can show you a bit of action. Let's get these coilovers slung on. See if we can sort this arch gap out. passenger side done then uh, we've not fitted the drop link yet because the roll bar is far down too far down and this strut's now too far up to get it in so i'll have to do that when we've done the other side so over to the other side now i'll try my best to explain a few bits on this um but yeah i didn't plan on doing an in-depth this is how you do it thing but basically to get the strut out i remove the entire hub so undo the trap end here undo the three bolts under here holding the lower ball joint on. Remove this trim under the bonnet and you've got these three 13 mils to undo. 
cut the drop link. I'm just going to put a grinder through that because we'll leave it on this strut and we'll cut it off down here because we've got new ones. Take the caliper off with the two big uh, 21 mils at the back. That removes the carrier and everything. Set the hub out, undo the hub nut, and then yeah, we're good to go. So let's roll with that. There we go. Sitting much, much better. I'm back still probably a little bit low needs to come up, but it looks, looks a hell of a lot better. We've sorted that arch gap out and I'm happy with it. But I'm sure we can do better. Let's see. Damn! Check them out. They look a hell of a lot better than the standard wheels. So, I'm probably going to get comments straight away saying, thought this was a budget build, the budget daily. Rotiforms are definitely not a budget wheel. Rotiforms are not a budget wheel. However, this set of rotiforms are, I'm going to say, one of the most budget set of rotiforms that there's ever been. Look at them, they look so cool. I'll take it outside and we'll get some shots outside in a minute. But yeah, these wheels, I actually won them in a competition from a company called Vag Recycled. Um, I'll put their little information in the description. Absolutely nothing to do with them, not promoted by them, nothing at all. I entered the competition last Sunday, just was, yeah, sat on my phone and it popped up. So I thought, mm, we'll, have, we'll have a go on it. Yeah, entered it, £1.49 a ticket. Boom, set of rotor forms. Set of wheels, it's 1,500 quid, and he gave me the rest of the tyres as well. So yeah, it looks absolutely mega. I'm well happy. So, let's go and pull it outside, and we'll go and take some sexies of it. Damn, look at that. Look how good that looks. I'm so happy with how that's turned out. I mean, the very expensive free wheels really do make it, but I was happy to be running around on the standard wheels. These are just sat here, so I might as well. Those coilovers are mega. I've been out for a bit of a drive in it, and it drives much nicer, and it's much more planted and much more settled on the road because the other shocks, I had to play with them, um, and yeah, they are. They're gone. They all push in and don't come back out. So yeah, they were all gone. That's why it drove so badly before. There is a slight issue with rubbing, front and rear, um, but we'll get that sorted. I'll probably have to roll the front arches and we'll probably have to cut the arch liner or do something with the rear. I've not had time to look at it, but that will be on the list and I'm sure we'll be doing a bit of an episode on what to do with that. So that's the start of the budget daily build mini series thing. I don't know how long it's going to go on for. I don't know what we're going to do. But as it sits now, I'm happy to be driving around in that every single day. And yeah, just pretty much looking baller on a budget. Absolutely stoked with it. A few other bits and thinking of doing, de and things like that, but they will come in time. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this little extra bit of content. Like I say, I'm just struggling on these two at the moment. Um, I'm hoping to get everything sorted and be back on them on the caddy next week. I've got the win to make a start on and hopefully they will sort the door situation out because that's starting to really wind me up now. But yeah. Thank you so much to Stance UK for supplying me so quickly with the coilovers. Thank you very much to the dealer that I bought the car from for delivering it to me. Thank you very, very much to Vag Recycled. And like I say, I've put all of his links in the description. Go and check him out. I won a set of wheels, £1.49. I never win anything. I'm in no way attached or affiliated or whatever with him. Go, go and check him out. He's got some killer prizes going on. And a massive thank you as well to Andy and Mikey at Transport Roach Q for getting me the tyres in and letting me go up there and fit the tyres and balance them all up on their machines as well. Thank you so much, lads. Really appreciate it. If you not, don't know who Transport Roach Q is, links in the description. Go and check them out. T5 sort of Volkswagen camper vans. They've got loads of bits for you. The only thing that's missing now is my personal plate, but can't do that until the logbook comes out. So we'll leave that on there then, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, enjoy.